So for the first position for your environment card, Scorpio, is the harvest card. And this is the same as the judgment card in traditional tarot. They call it harvest because really it is about rewards from what has been sown, bringing forth a rebirth or a sense of renewal, possibly new insights or directions that you're taking, changes in your life. So, you know, this card is in your environment. So some of you could be actually, um, ex you know, excited about some new changes, whether you're moving, whether you're, I'm going to turn on the light, um, making changes in your home, making changes in your work, making changes in your spirituality, whatever it is, there's a sense of rebirth. And if you think about it, the tr traditional tarot artwork, like the Rider Waite deck, is of an angel hovering above children in the water. They're naked in the water, and it's because it's their new babes, a sense of rebirth. And I feel like that's what some of you are, all are going to be feeling, that, um, that sense of renewal. So let's see what the crystal says, or what it... Yeah, you know, and I... Hmm, interesting. I got this a little bit in another sign, but uh, it's it's like you feel like you've been going up the slope, you know, like a um, a mountain, or actually I'm seeing like a ski slope, and you've been having to, you know, make each step count because I feel like a lot of you feel like people are watching you at work. Um, they have been watching you or watching what type of work you do or maybe watching your time. I'm not sure what it is, but um, you, some of you have completed projects that have come forth your way and you're excited about that and you can move on. Some of you are going on vacation towards the end of this month or at least around the water area because I'm seeing someone in a canoe. <laughs> and as a Scorpio, of course, uh, water sign, that would be interesting for you. So the harvest card is a great card to start your month or mid-month with because it is a sense of renewal past um, situations that have been of conflict or a conflict that concludes favorably to you. It's a new awakening, atonement, making changes for the better. And that's that's awesome that it's in your environment. And you know, as I look at these cards, I'm looking at the outcome card, and I'm thinking, wow, you are the 12th sign for me to do the readings for, last but certainly not least, and almost every one of them that I can remember, kid you not, the outcome card has been very positive, and I'm trying not to look forward that way, but I'm like, wow, Scorpio, that's a very uh, beneficial outcome card. Okay, but still talking about this or finishing up on this. It's a renewal feeling of, okay, deep breath. A feeling of like a deep breath starting over again or at least a renewal. Okay, the second card is called this deck, in this deck, the Lord of Shadows. And in traditional tarot, it's the same as the death card. Now, I don't like that term because it almost never means physical death. It means transformation. As you can see, there's a butterfly in the card, and that denotes transformation. See how this figure is standing here in the shadows, and that's what they're talking about. It's almost like there's a new big force of life. There's this man and this boy walking into uh, what looks like a, a fog, but it's, it's going to be a clear path for them. It's going to be a renewal. You know, these cards aren't, that much um, different than each other. They have like renewal about them because always after death and death of letting go of one's thoughts, restrictions on themselves, imposed restrictions, letting go of a person, letting go of, you know, a, a job or whatever doesn't soothe, suit you, there's new beginnings, right? So really that's what this card is about is you're a new babe and you're letting go of some things too. And this is in your, this is in your um, challenge position. So the, ch you know, honestly, this card in itself 
sometimes feel like a challenge if we need to take off one suit of armor and let go of it if we've been close to it and, and kept it close to our heart. And I'm, I'm, of course, metaphorically speaking, then letting go is sometimes not easy, but it's important to make those changes to manifest in a different way. And I feel like that's what you guys are doing. You know, we have the full moon coming up on May 10th. And it is in Scorpio. Guess what? It's in your sign, Scorpio. And it's about releasing. And that is so much what this card is about, for you to release it and not, not think about it. Let your, let your guidance, your intuition, let's let it go. Because I think you're, I know you're going to see some positive outcome. I'm trying not to look ahead at the cards, but, um, you know, you we can't hang on to um, situations and people that are not good for us, or we don't want to force them to be a certain way that they are, or force a job, or um, any any situation that's not in our best interest. Well, you know, it's interesting. I'm a seeing a flag. Uh, it's like a country or. Uh, a country flag that has stripes in it. So, you know, that could be the United States, but I mean, there's other countries that have, you have stripes in your flag. So, um, you're included in that. It might be that you're, some of you are moving, you're leaving your residence that you've been in for a long time. You're moving to a different culture, different place, different country. Um, you know, I'm seeing also too, if you have children, and this is the end of the school year in most places, and the children are going off to college, college or boarding school. Um, I'm seeing that as well because I'm seeing a little boy. And it's not little, but a boy like with packed bags. So if any of you all are experiencing that, or maybe you will this fall, but the, the emotions are coming up because we're around graduation, of course. And they could be moving on, or maybe they're getting married. That could be the case as well. All right. Okay, and then this particular card in the unexpected, this page of pentacles. I've seen this card come up in so many different readings, so I feel like that's a universal signal that, you know what, this is about new ways of making money, expanding um, your business or your work, manifesting. It's... I love this page of Pentacles artwork. See, speaking of a boy, here's a boy and he's playing magic with this pentacle, which of course the pentacles are about our money, our finances, uh, same thing, but you know, new ways of making money and looking at our finance bottom line. Also our body, our health, anything that's external. That's what the pentacles are about. They represent the signs of Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And this is a page. So this could be, the pages are brought new opportunities. Um, hearing of, of newness because the pages are youthful. So it could be that leaving this old behind and this new opportunity has, has come up for you. You have everything you need. You have all of the tools of your trade, so to speak. I mean, whether you are a craftsman or whether you are um, a CEO of a company, you have everything that your your position calls for, your work calls for, your house. It could be about um, remodeling or redoing. I'm hearing the reword, and we just went through Mercury retrograde, which is about reevaluating, reassessing um, our life. So I feel like with these changes going on with you, that there's there's newness coming in. This is the newness here. After this feels like it's it's um, old soul kind of stuff, this then this new happy joy joy feeling comes in around your money, property, and physical health. This is a good sign. And again, this could be after the Scorpio new moon on, or excuse me, full moon on May tenth. I'm doing this on the seventh. So if you're noticing after the tenth that you have an opportunity to grow. There you go. Let's see what the, anything about the crystal, what it says about the page of pentacles. 
Well, I do feel like some of you are reaching out. Um, it, it's almost like two or three resumes. You're sending out resumes or you're looking for two to three different opportunities or at these opportunities very closely. You want to see how you fit in. This flag came up again. It's so interesting. You want to see how you fit in with the culture, the community, um, the people that you would work for or, and work with. You're checking places out. You're checking out restaurants. You're checking out um, colleges. So again, this could be, you know, have to do with uh, your child or possibly you going to college, whether you're, you know, 18 or 48, it doesn't matter. It's just like it's it's about new schooling. Uh, let's see. Yeah, new lands come in as well. And I, when I say lands, L-A-N-D-S, of course, um, land that has not been harvested or built anything upon. So you may have an opportunity to either uh, build a house or there's an opportunity to grow a business business venture. There's many different ways this page of pinnacles comes in, but it's about the unexpected. Something comes up for you to take advantage of that is going to grow your money, um, make your health better. If any of you all have had health issues, this would be a new way to deal with that. Maybe a healer, chiropractor, acupuncturist, new technology. If any of you all are in the technology field, you may, the medical technology or, you know, again, like I said, holistic, you may be experiencing that. All right. So that's, and it's, you know, it's, it's adventurous for you. It's interesting to you. All right. And the last card is a card I love. It's the six of wands. And the wands are, of course, about our um, what we do in life, our life force, the work we do. Um, it's about our message in life. And this six of wands is a time when your service is being acknowledged. There's victory. There's success. You see this guy riding on this beautiful white horse and he's cloaked in red. You know, this card has come up a few times as well. More of a clarification card. I don't think it's come in any outcome card, but it has come up for clarification. So there are definitely some changes, universal signs that are going on with these cards, this particular reading. Um, I'm trying to think who else has seen this. I don't know, but it's come up two or three times as a clarification card, which is good. So this guy is dressed in red. He outshines the others, not that he's better than but he has given his service, his work, um, enough effort to where he does get public acknowledgement, acknowledgement within his company. His company is written up, you know, in a, in a good way, of course. And these are people around him. They're a little bit more drab, uh, I guess, drably dressed, <laughs> dressed in neutral colors. Let's just put it that way. So it's not that he's done it by himself. There's always people to support and help. Always, always. And he's on this beautiful white horse. So he's taking in the public acknowledgement. The um, What you would want to say about this card is, is not to feel too high and mighty. If this happens for you, that you are publicly acclaimed or that you get a lot of acknowledgement within your, your workspace because other people will realize it. All right, let's see what has gone on, gone on here. Yeah, you somehow you've learned how to connect the dots. You weren't sure about where you were even maybe six months ago, but you're, you're realizing that your talents and your abilities do matter. You know, this is whether you're staying with the same company or you're, um, or you're changing. You sort of feel like some of you, like you're the lone wolf. I don't know if sometimes at your workplace that you work by yourself or um, you work on a project by yourself, but I feel like some of you feel like you're the one, the one wolf out in the pasture. I see, I'm seeing a wolf and a cow, but they're by themselves out in a field. So it's like there's no one else around them. 
so you may feel like that sometimes and to be, get publicly acclaimed or acknowledged at your work feels really good, healthy. Um, you feel abundant in what you're doing. Let's see what else comes up. And I also feel like for some of you, this isn't for all of you, but for some of you, you're um, making new friends at your workplace or in and around your workplace. I don't know if some of you work at an office that there's community restaurants or you go to a restaurant at an that's nearby your workplace. I'm not really sure, but it feels like a gathering or getting together with others. Just put it that way. And I feel like you meet new people. And I feel like some, some of you are chatty and excited about this. Okay. So that's an awesome card to get for your outcome. It, again, acclaim, success. All right. So let's pull a couple of clarification cards using the same deck. This one wanted to come out. Well, that's nice too. The ace of this deck calls it the Athemis. The Thames could be either way, really. <laughs> right? You may want to correct me, so that's okay if you do. It's basically the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords talks about victory and victory and success around ideas and implementing ideas. Whenever you see the Ace of Swords, it's one of the few sword cards that is very positive. It's very, very positive. You know, some of the, the swords are talk about our fears and our worries and our concerns, our, our, our thinking. But the ace of swords, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a little bit hoarse. The ace talks about victory around the thinking. So yay for you. You may be, like I said, implementing new ideas or I was talking about that research earlier or um, new ways of thinking, you know, whether it's quantum physics. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's just new ways. Well, and then the world tree comes out. Awesome. Okay. This was the outcome card for, I believe, cancer. And I remember this because it's like, wow, this is your outcome card. So this clarification card is a ma the last of the major arcana. It's number 21. It's the same as the universe card. It talks about how life has had its challenges and its peaks and its valleys, but you've learned so much and you're still learning a lot, but you've, growth to, you've grown to the point of accomplishment, both spiritually, intuitively, which is what this moon is about, and also with the sun. The sun is about manifesting. So throughout the time, whether you're, again, you know, 20 or 60 or 70, you have learned a lot about life and life's lessons. And there's been a lot of spiritual lessons. And like I said, this is the last of the, the uh, clarification cards. So I feel like, Scorpio, that you guys are moving in a direction of, of hope and happiness and, and feeling creative. That's awesome. Let me know in the comments below what you how you feel around this card. This is the tree of life. And like I said, the sun and the moon working together. All right. So I'm going to add up the cards. Give some changes going on or some letting go going on, but then you're starting to see newness and success. All right. So we have 20 uh, and 13 is 33, 34, and 6 is 40. Well, yay, I haven't seen that one this month. Reduced to uh, one digit is four. And four in numerology is about foundation, building your foundation. It's a left brain number, so it's very logical, being very practical. So I feel like that's, of course, you know, what this, what this page of pentacles is doing. And the four in the our major arcana, excuse me, is the same as the emperor card. And the emperor is an archetypal male figure, authority figure, father figure. Um, he's very much of leadership position. He's good at building projects. He's good at controlling his destiny. So some of you may have that support around you. You may actually take on the qualities of the emperor controlling your destiny. 
and feeling good about it. Oftentimes, too, he represents a Capricorn. So if there's a Capricorn in your life, you know, you might want to, or you have a Capricorn moon or rising sign. As always, watch your moon and rising. This could represent you.